All right, welcome everybody. This is the homework for Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 2. So remember, you should have done your homework beforehand. This is a helper if you get stuck and you need to figure out how to move on. So let's take a look. It says, use a set square to draw a line perpendicular to the x-axis through point P. Label the new line as the new y-axis. So here's point P, here's the line, line X, and let's just talk about perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular are lines that make a T, that make an L, that make kind of a backwards L, make an upside down T, make a plus sign. Any line where their two lines meet and make a right angle. Okay, so a set square is really just something that allows you to draw a straight line. So I'm going to use a box and I'm just going to draw a straight line through P to through line X. And I'm going to just go ahead and put that. So I have done that. I've drawn a line perpendicular to the X axis through P. So that's the X axis. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing here. It says label the, um, I needed to label that line the y-axis. Okay, so that's the y-axis. Now we're just going to do that one more time. So we've got P, and I'm going to draw a line, right? And this is the y-axis. So I'm going to label it y. And now we've got what looks like when we turn the beginning of a coordinate graph. Okay, so let's look at B. Choose one of the axis, one of the sets of perpendicular lines above and create a coordinate plane. Mark five units on each axis and label them as whole numbers. Well, I'm going to do that on this one. And the reason I'm turning it this way is Y is the one that is vertical and X is always the horizontal axis. And how I like to teach my kids to remember that is here is your coordinate plane, right? And this is the y-axis. It basically makes a y. So that way you'll remember that is the y-axis. Okay, just a little trick for you. All right, so we're just going to mark this. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. Notice I've made the marks about the same distance apart. I'm going to do that here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and there's five. Okay, so we've done that as well. Use the coordinate plane to answer the plane to answer the following. Name the shape at each location. Okay, the x-coordinate is going across. We're always going to move over first and then up. I like to say, think of this as playing basketball. You would never move to a spot and then, I mean, you'd always move to a spot and then shoot the ball. You would never shoot the ball and then move to where you want to shoot from, right? So you always move along the x-axis and then figure out where you want to go to the y. So we're going to go over 2 and up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the circle. Now notice I skipped because this scale is halves. 0, 1 half, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half. And the y-axis goes in the same way. So you need to make sure that you you know the scale and that you're counting properly. All right, number five x the x coordinate is five, the y coordinate is four. So we're gonna go over to five and go up four. One, two, three, four. That is the rhombus or a square that's kind of just tilted. That was not a very good rhombus, but you know what I'm trying to do. I always tell my students I'm not a good artist, but that's okay. The next one, the X coordinate is one, and the Y coordinate is one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be the triangle. 
And lastly, 5, 1, that's going to be the heart. I did not make that a little, there you go, a little bit bigger. All right, which shape is two units from the x-axis? So how are we going to figure that out? Well, we know that the x-axis is here. Right, so which shape is two units from the x-axis? So this is the x-axis. We need to move two units away, right? So we're one, two. So the star is two units away. Because remember, this is where you are. You're standing here, and you want to go two away. One, two. Okay, which shape has the same x and y coordinate. Well, for us to figure that out, we have to look. We can first look here and say, well, none of those are the same, so it's not any of the ones we did. But we can see the square is over 3 and up 3. So the square is at 3, 3. Okay, let's look at the back side. Use the coordinate plane to answer the following. Name the coordinates of each shape. So here's the moon. We're going to go, and again, we're going to look at the scale. The scale is one half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and up to four. So I take this and I take. And I say to myself, it's up two and a half and over four. So two and a half is the x coordinate, and the y coordinate is four. All right, the sun. The sun is right here. It's over four and up three. All right, so I'm just going to write that line. It's x coordinate is four y is 3. The heart, it's over 1 on the x-coordinate and at 2 on the y-coordinate. How about the cloud? Now, did I have to move along the x-coordinate? No, I'm at 0. Right? So I'm at 0 and on the y-coordinate I'm at 4 and a half because this is 4 and that's 5. So 4 and a half. And how about the smiley face? That is up here. So I can see I'm in the middle. That's three and a half. And I'm in the middle here. That's five and a half. Three and a half. And five and a half. Which two shapes have the same y coordinate? Right? So we would have to look. Which two shapes are on this line? Well, there's nothing with the moon, nothing with the cloud, nothing with the smiley face, nothing with the sun, but the star and the heart are in the same on the same y coordinate. So star and heart. All right. Plot an x at 2 3. Well, remember, this is the x coordinate and that is the y coordinate. So we go over 2 and up three, and I'm going to call it x. All right. Plot a square at three, two and a half. So I go over three and up two and a half. I guess I should just put a square there. So I'm going to put a square there, right? Because that is the x. The x is always first, and the y is second. And plot, plot just means draw, put, plot a triangle at six, three and a half. So over six and up three and a half. And there I am putting a triangle. Oops, let me put it there. Let me just go over that again. Over six and up three and a half. The square over three and up two and a half. All right, and the last one, Mr. Palmer 
plans to bury a time capsule 10 yards behind the school. What else should he do to Mr. Palmer plans to bury a time capsule 10 yards behind the school. What else should he do to make naming the location of the time capsule more accurate? All right, so here's the school. He's going to go 10 yards behind the school, right? So 10 yards behind the school. That means anywhere here in this field, we could have the time capsule. So what else should we do to be able to figure it out? Well, we need to know where we are in this space. So if we had the X axis labeled, right? And here's the Y axis. We could look at it and say, okay, let's say it was right here. Well, we'd say it's about over six and up, I don't know, four. And then you'd be able to find it. You basically are gonna make a coordinate grid. So we're gonna say, Mr. Palmer should create a coordinate grid, grid, so he can label the x-axis and y-axis. All right, great. I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning a little bit about coordinate planes. And until next time, keep calculating.